Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about some of the MCQs on overall syllabus of the NABARD grade exam. The first question. The total forest and tree cover is dash of the geographical area of the country. Is it 21.67%, 22.4, 22.62%, 27.28% Total forest and tree cover of the country is 80.9 million hectares which is, is around 24.62% of geographical area in the country. Okay. Therefore, it should be options are C that is 24.62%. Okay. This forest and total forest and tree cover what is the percentage of geographical area and which state is having the maximum forest cover and which state having the maximum forest cover with respect to particular land area availability and which is the state which is producing uh, which is uh, which is growing in their forest cover these points are very very important please note these points through some of the government records okay or some surveys second question the forest cover includes all the tree patches which have in canopy density of if it is more than 30% and area of 1 hectare and more than 10% and area more than 1 hectare or more in the size more than 30% and area of less than 1 hectare more than 10% and area of less than 1 hectare and none of the above according to UN Food and Agricultural Organization that is FAO the forest is defined as any land spanning of more than 0.5 hectares with the trees higher than 5 meters and canopy cover of more than 10%. Okay. Therefore, from this definition, we can conclude that if in any area having more than 10% of its uh, cover and uh, which is 1 hectare or more in the size is to be called as a forest. Okay. Next question. South Coastal Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu get sufficient amount of the rainfall from which of the monsoon, right? Okay, we already know that around 90% uh, of our Indian land will receive the, for rainfall during the Kharif from the southwest monsoon winds. They are asking the coastal regions of your Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu will get the rainfall from, right? Is it southwest monsoon or northeast monsoon? or westerlies are both A and B and all of the above. Therefore, answer will be a northern eastern monsoon. Okay. The southern eastern monsoon after crossing the, uh, the coastal areas of southern region, that is your western southern, southern western region, these, they will be moved towards the north and they bring about the southwest monsoon winds. Whereas, this northern eastern winds starts moving towards in India and start uh, falls on the uh, coastal areas of Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu during the period of your October and November period which brings a monsoon there. Okay, These westerlies are the uh, rain during your western times which will get the from the disturbances in the Mediterranean Sea and your eastern uh, sorry western times they bring about the disturbs in the winter start producing rainfall in the regions of your Haryana, Punjab and all during the winter season. Okay. Therefore, when combined of these all the three winter leaves, southwest monsoon and northern east monsoon which together forms the monsoon winds uh, not monsoon uh, uh, of the rainfall total monsoon total rainfall of in India. Whereas uh, this regions of your Tamil Nadu, Puducherry, Andhra Pradesh, and some part of Karnataka, Lakshadweep, they, they will get during the period of in October to December month. Next question. The adiabatic process is one. What is this adiabatic process is? Okay. Is this an heat exchanged with the surroundings which is zero in nature? Temperature remains a constant. A pressure on the air parcel remains constant. Altitude of an air parcel remains constant and pressure and temperature increases. Okay. We already know that whenever we increasing in the altitude in the atmosphere, temperature falls by 6.5 degrees temperature. It is due to a, it is called as a lapse rate, right? Whereas an adiabatic process is a thermodynamic process in which there is no exchange of heat from the system to its surrounding, neither during expansion nor during compression. 
okay therefore answer heat exchanged with the surrounding will be zero in nature next which type of an emulsion is found in the milk is it oil in oil type or water in the oil type oil in water type water in the water type and fat in the water type okay this is the forms of your uh, emulsions like your water in water type or oil in water type etc therefore the milk belongs to oil in water type okay the more amount of the fat content present in the water okay this is the where uh, the oil is called the dispersed phase and in water is called a dispersion medium or continuous medium results in the formation of the fat globules start spreading in the water right next question therefore answer will be the oil in water type it is option c next the adverse effect of the host plants on the insect due to the presence of some of the toxic substance or absence of a required nutritional components is referred as is it anti zoonosis antibiosis tolerance host plus resistance or non preference okay answer is the this is b is antibiosis what is this antibiosis it is an adverse effect of an any host plant on the insect it is one of the defense mechanism because right in the genetics we studied what the disease escape or insect pest resistance escape mechanisms right this is an antibiosis is a pest escape mechanism or an, a protectionist uh, method where this host plant shows the adverse effect on the insect by producing some so toxic substance or the absence or deficiency of the particular nutrients that is required for the growth of the insects right such a plants will do not suffer any damage if an insects come to it okay this is called as an antibiosis in nature which nutrient is required for synthesis of the sugar in sugar cane is it calcium potassium iron sodium or starch okay therefore it's a b the potassium is required for the sugarcane plant to produce the sugarcane okay by if the if we take the sugarcane in uh, in uh, in general what are the points to be remember okay which is the state which is highest in sugarcane production which country stands first is that india stands first or second right i think brazil is the first country which is highest in sugar production or sugarcane production and which is the enzyme required and which is the available form of the sugar is it is glucose or sucrose okay and what is the instrument needed to for the production or to uh, to find out the sugar content is a brix right brix is a unit through which we can conclude the amount of sugar cane and is that uh, sugar cane production in india is which type of the climate it requires and what type of the water it requires is it in, it requires more water or less water and what is the method of the planting it required okay these are the what are the important pests and diseases the sugar cane is facing okay these are the all the important points to be remember well if an if one crop comes to in our mind right next question Sindhu is a seedless variety among the mango a cross of okay a seedless variety of the mango it's, it looks very strange right like your uh, baganpalli into an alfonso or neelam into alfonso or ratna into alfonso alfonso into ratna is what is the difference it's a female plant and a male plant right and none of this okay the answer is a c that is a ratna into alfonso is equal to sindhu which is the uh, seedless in nature next what should be your snf percentage of the cow milk according to fasai standard what is this snf snf stand for soluble uh, fat right uh, snf stand for soluble fat in the cow milk according to fasai okay um, that is your 9% or 6.5% 8.5% option d 8% and option e 9.5% okay answer is c is 8.5% right according to this snf percent of the milk should be around 8.5 percent which fish lives in fresh water but breeds in salt water okay which is a fish which lives in fresh water but breeds in salt water in the last class we discussed some of the fish which are which are always produced in oceanic and they come to the fresh water only for the breeding purpose right 
like that this is a fish which lives in fresh water but breeds in salt water is it andro uh, anadromous catadromous diadromous potamodromous and oceanodromous right answer is b that is catadromous okay androdromous are the fish in which are, which are already present in oceanic water or salt water and they come for the the breeding purpose in fresh water is called as anadromous it is dead opposite that is your catadromous right next question the most dominant fraction of the soil degradation in dry land climate that is semi arid zone of india is is it wind erosion a gully erosion a splash erosion a sheet erosion or rill erosion right the most dominant type of an uh, erosion is a that is your wind erosion right which is uh, most common in the dry land climate zone of an india which high winds low precipitation high evapotranspiration reduced vegetable cover and limited development are the main drivers in arid in the semi arid regions okay this uh, topic of erosion i uh, explained very detailedly in the erosion chapter of water resources right and soil and water conservation also which one is a not a basic principle of extension is it a principle of participation principle of satisfaction principle of practice principle of interest and need in none of the above right answer is c that is a principle of practice it is not the basic principle of extension these are the basic principles of extension please remember every principle of extension is you know that what is extension is that is the information what we gather in the educational institution should be passed to the farmers from a lab to the land condition through the extension scheme or extension team tipping is practiced in the cultivation of which crop okay just uh, make a list okay take one crop and what are the important operations like in the rice what is a puddling right what is hulling uh, in case of groundnut what is ginning is in tobacco what is your suckering what is desuckering what is tipping what is nipping right like that very very important crop and it is important operations make a list okay alfalfa options are alfalfa tea garlic basil and sugarcane okay answer is the tea was a tipping in tea tipping in the tea is a removal of an an uh, leaves right so that it will be grow axillary buds right it is an objective of tipping is to establish a level plucking surface which provide and maintenance of the foliage for the quick production of secondary branches is called as tipping in tea diamond black moth dbm is belongs to which order dbm is a which which is the crop is majorly affected by dbm crucifers especially cauliflower and all they will be very damaged by the dbm right is it lepidoptera is it a coleoptera is it diptera orthoptera or none of this right answer is the a that is a lepidoptera is also called as a cabbage moth also plutella family plutidae genus plutella and order lepidoptera what is the water requirement of the chicken in liter per day right that is a growth of an a particular chicken it requires in water amount of in water right is it 4 to 5 liters per day or 2 to 1 percent liter per day or sorry 0.2 to 2.4 liter per day 1 or 3 to 4 liter per day okay answer will be is the c that is 0.2 0.4 liter per day right uh, per liter per day is a requirement of the water next dash is the glo nodal government agency dealing with import and export including agriculture sector in the country and is responsible for developing and formulating trade policies and programs is it department of commerce agriculture cooperation foreign affairs rural development and finance right answer is the yeah that is the department of the commerce is responsible for the import and export from the country and to the country infrastructure development supports the establishment of custom hiring centers 
or in high tech hubs of agricultural machines it is provided under submission of agriculture mechanization agriculture marketing infrastructure agri infrastructure fund rkv rafthar pkvy project okay this is comes under submission on agriculture mechanization that is smem next question the soil health card scheme is broadly advertised by the union government under the slogan swasdhar kethar swasdhara deshara more crop per drop meri bhumi meri matha none of the okay answer is a that is swasdhara khet hara i think this is soil health card scheme is nothing but complete soil profile that is the nutrients what are present there and soil testing will be done across the country in the labs and what are the micronutrient deficiency present suggestions etc which of the following does not follow the monoculture is it dairy farming a mixed farming plantation agriculture commercial grain production and all of this right answer will be the c that is a plantation agriculture never ever follow the monoculture because the pen, obviously this plantation crops are perennial in nature we cannot change the perennial plantation crops every year right the rainy day is caused when the amount of the rainfall received in 24 hours is option e is that is a uh, day 2 point more than 2.5 mm per day rashtriya gokul mission is launched for the purpose of to increase the milk availability to conserve and develop an indigenous bovine breeds to increase the pace of wide revolution to double the farmers income and none of the above okay what is this rashtriya gokul mission it is established or launched in the year december 2014 as a native to develop and conserve the indigenous bovine breeds improving its milk production and productivity in a very scientific manner to the superior nutrition and the nutrient and farm management is called as rashtriya gokul mission under which there is a uh, conserve of protect our indigenous bovine breeds is very very important to maintain our cells right the white leghorn is a poultry breed famous for for the egg the meat gaming or both a and b and none of this right answer is a that is for the egg purpose for the a laying egg white leghorn is very very famous for right which day in the year is declared as a national agricultural education day right this is one of the important question is it february 3rd 3rd december 3rd january 3rd march and none of this right answer is b that is 3rd december is called as the agricultural education day to commemorate the birth anniversary anniversary of the first president of an indian and union minister of agriculture bharat ratna dr rajendra prasad right what is the mandate of the funds of location to women farmer under the national security food security mission what is the plan of action or what is a particular base under which the fund will be allocated to the women farmers right mandate of the fund yes is obviously this much of the fund should go to farmers should go to a women should goes to either some of the um, backward classes or scsts etc right is it 20% 30% 40% 50% and 60% answer will be is b that is the 30% is a loan go to the women farmers right india is the largest producer of of various crops etc except is it banana mango potato okra and none of this right answer is c that is potato except that is your potato India is the largest producer of mango banana okra etc therefore except potato this is all the crops india leads it silver revolution is mainly associated with the production of of a milk and milk products a fish or egg fertilizer or a silk that is c 
silver production is nothing but the associated with the egg production and poultry farming however silver fiber production is associated with the cotton cotton for the jute we can call it is an uh, golden uh, cotton or golden uh, thread mm. and silver fiber or the golden fiber is a jute and silver fiber is a cotton and therefore silver revolution with respect to the production of the egg in india silica accumulation in the soil is known as porcelization lateralization mineralization solidization and saltation okay answer is a b that is a lateralization right just go to the each and every definition of uh, in the given the option like what is porcelization is what is mineralization is so that if an if an for a particular question there will be particular answer apart from the options what there they were present start digging out of it okay from that we can get an n extra points also next indigenous dual purpose breeds of the cow is amrit mahal sahi wall red sindhi ongol kankrej and all of this right answer is d that is an angol or kankrej were be called as an indigenous dual purpose breed of the cow what is a dual purpose dual purpose means yes it is will be useful for egg laying also for the meat purpose also what is the dual purpose of your cow that is uh, we can be used for the cultivation of the crops in the field also we can get it for the milk purpose like that okay so will be dual purpose means one crop or one animal we are getting the two different helps that's it the percentage snf in the buffalo milk is 8.1 and 9.1 10.1 11.1 12.1 11 okay answer bb that is 9.1 it should be the present in the buffalo milk which size in the range of 100 to 1000 hectares watershed are classified as right it is micro watershed or macro watershed milli and mini watershed and none of this okay answer is a b that is a milli watershed okay just go through the classification of the watershed i already mentioned this watershed chapters in the water resources chapter class so there is a what is the full form of rid yeah. rural infrastructure development fund regional infrastructure development fund rural industrial development fund rural industrial development forces and rural infrastructure development forces okay answer is the a that is the rural infrastructure development fund is a correct option for the to define what is ridf is okay just completely dig out what is the bad is when it is open water schemes under the nabad what are the funds it allocating and what is the uh, that is a priority sector lending it has to be taken is start to take uh, place uh, to protect the farmers and what are the um, uh, banking committees comes under the nabad what are the schemes what are the government how government supporting is everything about the nabad is very very important the minimum support price is decided every year by cacp the system of an msp started from which year right is from 65 66 70 71 69 70 66 67 and 70 73 okay answer is the that is 32 uh, the question is answer is 66 to 67 right 1966 to 67 is that is the first in which msp was first decided and gave us the government provides the interest subvention of 2% on short term crop loans up to 3 lakhs presently the loan is available to the farmers at an interest rate of dash per annum on the promote repayment is it 9% or 7% 4% 3% or 0% okay answer is the that is c 4% right around 4% of the interest per annum to promote the repayment at the farmers to promote repayment there will be a short term crop loans up to 3% up sorry up to 4% interest subvention will be given right what is the premium of an horticulture crops in pradhan mantri fasal bima yojana to 1.5 5 10 and above as will be see that is a 5% to for the kharif 
one point five rabi and oil seed and commercial horticulture crops is around five percent, right? And just go through. I already told you in yesterday class. It very very important schemes under very very important departments or very important ministries. Agriculture infrastructure fund. Which type of an financing facility for the investment in viable projects for forest harvest management in the infrastructure? Is it a short term? Is a medium term or medium long term? Long term and all of this, right? Answer is C. Medium long term. Okay. A I F. Okay. Agriculture infrastructure fund is a medium long term for the post harvest manage harvest management in infrastructure. What is the lead agency for implementing ENAP? Is it NFCL, EKSAN Division, APMC, ENAM, or SAFAK? Okay. Answer is the E. That is SAFAK. Okay. SAFAK. That is for uh, fa small farmers agriculture consortium, uh, agri business consortium under the aegis of the Minister of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare. A sole responsibility for your ENAP, right? Next, how many crops of MSP is given in, in the government of India? 21, 23, 22, 25, 26. Okay, this question is most controversial because some of the crops are they said yes they will include and some some will tell no it is not included like that right? Okay, 37th answer will be C that is around 22 percent. 22 of the crops are present in the MSP every year. Which date is the year celebrated as a Panchayati Raj day? 24th April, 26th April, 5th or 12th, 5th June or 12th, 5th April and 16th July. That is a that is the 24th April is called as a National Panchayat Day. Okay, why? Because uh, because this is the time where the 73rd Constitution Amendment came into force. Which is respect, which gives a constitutional uh, statement or constitutional uh, flavor to the Panchayat Raj, right? Which soil order as swelling and shrinking clay soils? And is also what is also estosols, molisols, and antisols. Okay, it is swelling and shrinkage property is the characteristics of what is also okay. These all soil types are explained in the soil profile chapter of. Soil and water conservation. Please go through it. National year of millet was observed in the year. A twenty three. Please don't uh, confuse. International year of millets is twenty twenty three, whereas the national year of millet was already celebrated in the two thousand eighteen. The three tiers of Panchayat Raj are: is it Gram Panchayat, Panchayat Samiti, Jilla Parishad, Gram Panchayat, Gram Parishad, or Jilla Samitis? Gram Panchayat landlords, Gram Panchayat Panchayat Samitis and Zamindas and none of this. Okay, answer is A. There is a Gram Panchayat, Panchayat Samitis and Jilla Parishads at village level and block or district level. Uh, sorry, block level and district level respectively. When the quantity demanded for a good change by exactly the same percentage as the price, the demand is said to be perfectly inelastic. Elastic, unitary, elastic, relatively elastic, and none of this, right? Answer is the C. That is an unitary elastic demand in which the quantity demanded for the good change by exactly the same person as the price change. Okay, it is a unitary elastic in nature. What is the full form of any NREGP? That is. National Rural Employment Guarantee Program, Rural Entrep Entrepreneurship Em Guarantee Program, Educational or Employment, none of this, right? Answer is any RP is full form is D. That is National Rural Employment Guarantee Program. The term Green Revolution was coined by Normani Borlaug, M S Swaminathan, William C S God. K L Chadda and Vargis Kurkin. Okay, who is the term a Green Revolution given by your William Yes God? Whereas in M S Swaminathan is called as the father of Green Revolution in India.
uh, whereas a normal e bore log is called father of green revolution of the world dash is known as a camel crop is it finger millet as a is a pearl millet a sorghum napier both answer is c that is a sorghum why sorghum is called camel crop because it requires very very less water to withstand uh for the growth purpose and it requires it can also phase drought for the longer period of time and the sorghum is called as a camel crop right which is a poor poor people meat answer is the pulses that i already explained in the last class right cacp is a decentralized agency of the government of india to advise on the price policy of various crops in india what is the cacp stand for that is a Commission for Agriculture Cost and Prices. Option is C. The practice of forestry, with an objective of raising flower trees, shrubs, and mainly to serve as a recreation forest for the urban and rural population, is known as. Answer is E. That is both C and D. That is recreation forestry also. and also aesthetic forestry because recreation forestry we just come to the forest for the recreation purpose and aesthetic forestry which is meant for to beautify the place right therefore for the they will be asking for the recreation forest therefore answer will be both b and d deneveling okay this is a process to remove of the male bud after completion of the female phase is related to which crop okay is it tobacco tea cotton banana and apple okay this is the process which are mainly practiced in banana drip irrigation system mainly constitutes the main line sub mains lines laterals drippers and their accessories okay what is the diameter and pressure is of the main line consist of okay it is around okay Okay, this is will be around D. That is 65 mm uh, size diameter with a pressure of 4.4 to 6 kg per centimeter square. Dash is a surface feeder which consumes detritus, animals and zooplanktons. Is a mrigal, car, katla, rohu, and none of this. Okay, answer is C. That is a rohu. Is a katla is a surface and common feeder that feeds on zooplanktons. phytoplanktons and sorry answer is not rohu this is a cattle cattle sorry cattle is a one which feeds on the detritus and zooplanktons for the very much okay this is an options which we can go cross check it with the option thank you